and welcome to Learn English with Wordle for Monday the 25th of April 2022. I hope you're going to have a good week. It's Monday, it's still actually technically Monday morning here, I haven't quite made it to lunchtime yet, although it's pretty late in the morning now. Um, I'm looking forward to this week, am I? Well, we should always try to look forward to uh, uh, every day of our lives really, even if it's not likely to be that great. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to start today's uh, word game with the word prone, P-R-O-N-E, which is an adjective, and it has a couple of different meanings, really. Um, the most, I think the most commonly used way that it's used in English is to be prone to doing something, usually, like uh, uh, he's prone to cheating at cards, uh, something like that, um, which means... Uh, likely to do this or you know quite often does something and it's usually used in a negative way I'm not sure it has to be negative but it's usually used in that way but the second meaning for prone is to lie face down uh, that way is uh, occasionally used uh, but it seems to be more of a literary word or a word that's fallen out of fashion let's say it like that anyway um, to lie prone uh, while somebody walks on your back during a massage or something like that. <laughs> okay, let's see if the O and the E are useful or if any of the other, none of, oh, well, the E was in there. It's in the wrong place. Okay, I'm going to go on with another adjective. I'm going to go on with, uh, oh, no, that's got an R in it. That's not a good choice, is it? I'm going to, well, I want to get another vowel in there. I'll do it anyway, even though it's got an R, because uh, I want to find this position of the E, and let's try a, a second vowel as well. This is not a very good choice. I'm get oh, hmm. So now what? <laughs> um, we could have. Okay, no, that's not. Yes, how about the word cheat? Since I said cheating at cards earlier on, actually, as a moment a moment ago, that kind of word has come into my head. Now we could get a, a possibility, a, a third location for e here. Uh, this doesn't use any letters so far. Now cheat, of course, is both verb, um, intransitive, cheat at something, and a cheat, a person who cheats breaks the rules or bends the rules for their own benefit, I guess, is how to define it. No, that wasn't very good, was it? Oh, so I'm running out of guesses. Um, right, I'm going to have to pick up my glasses and try and uh, write some, scribble some stuff down. So let's see, maybe it begins with an A. But that would put the E just before the last letter. have a couple more letters here. Um, hmm. That doesn't look right. I suppose it could end in EA. That is a possibility that the last two letters could be EA. like plea, but obviously there's, uh, we need more letters. Plea is only a four letter word, but I mean, it is a, I'm just saying that EA is not impossible at the end, but I don't think that's it. How about annex? Now, I don't know, we don't often get the, um, this, oh no, there's no N. I was going to say A double N E X, but there's no N, so that's not good. Okay, I've got to write down the letters that are still available to me. Hold on a second. Because uh, actually, I've got a lot of letters knocked out already.
S. Set no. No, there's no T, is there? Can't be asset. Um, Ashen? No, there's no N. <laughs> or H, for that matter. Oh, I've got to look at what's available. I keep looking. Um, oh, dear. I was going to say abide, A B I D E, but then we'll put the E at the end, and there's definitely no E at the end. So that can't be right. I can't even guess something that's not the right answer just to get the position, you know. Sometimes I will make a wrong guess just to try and find a location of something, but I can't even do that. Amber? A M B. Okay, this can't be right because we don't have we don't have uh, an R, so I know that this is not the word, but I need to find the location of some of these things here. Uh, amber, the color of traffic lights in the UK. Did you know that uh, in England we call yellow of traffic lights amber? Um, of course, to look like the stone, so um, the semi-precious, I believe, stone, amber. So that's uh, an uncountable noun. Um, I need to find, okay, got the A right, got the E right. And I've locked out, knocked out an M and a B now. Okay, so it definitely is A in those locations. I'm going to have to bring in some of the letters that I don't normally like. Um, a, a W, Q, Z, and X, because they might. I've only got two guesses left. This could be the second time I've failed, actually. Could be. <laughs> this is really tough for me. Aged, 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 it's got to be, A-G-E, oh no, that's only four letters, ah, yeah. ah. there's no, uh, it's, uh, I, I was <laughs> it's looking for the D-G, <laughs> aged is just A-G-E-D, no D in it, of course, ah, what? I keep trying to fit in the word auger, but I'm sure that's not how it's not spelled with an E R, is it? It's a U R. <sighs> Nick. 
fin de essai. Askew, 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 askew. I think we, we that's yes, surely. Although that that's a surprising word if they are going to use that. Uh, but it's, I think yes, it must be, mustn't it? Surely, I can't see anything else. Okay, so askew is an adjective, and it means not straight. Uh, you know, supposing you were trying to put up a bookcase or something, and the shelves weren't perpendicular. Uh, you might say it's askew, you know, not at the correct angle, something like that. So that's a, an adjective, and it's the only thing I can think of. It's not, I mean, big trouble. Oh, ho. <laughs> phew, that was a few, almost, almost just uh, the last one there. Okay, uh, that's it then. I'm glad that I'd succeeded there. I, 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 I must admit, at this point here, or at this point here, I was thinking I might not get it. All right, that's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.